Do you guys know I make a lot of videos about game development and teaching you how to um, create bits and pieces for your games? And um, but I thought I'd do something a little bit different today and show you how to use some video editing software to make your videos look more like Bing Casey Neistat. I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, if you like the video, then please subscribe. Um, but yeah, let's uh, jump right into it. So the first thing you want to do is kind of find out where your music track is. Uh, and then um, the best place I found for getting like Casey style music, Casey style music, where's my glasses, is the audio library on YouTube. Uh, and they've actually got a section, I can't see through these glasses, they've actually got a section, um, Casey's nice to have rock style music. Can't go wrong really. Um, so yeah, just scroll down and have a listen and then they're all free to download. Um, so I've done that, I've imported it into my project here. Let's have a quick play. I feel like Casey already. Uh, and then what you kind of want to do is you need to try and find the, the sections in the music where there's a beat. Um, now that's quite easy because you've got your waveform down here. So what we'll do is we'll drag in some footage and we'll place it on our timeline and we'll have a look at it. Very cool. New York Skyline. I just found that from some stock footage site. Uh, and now, yeah, so as I said before, we just need to look at our waveform and find the beats. So let's play it again. Okay. And again. We might sure we get this right. Okay, so you see these three little um, peaks here. These are where there's a bit of a fud, like a So we want to cut here, because that's where we need to make some sort of transition. And play it forward a little bit in our footage. There's the, we'll cut it there. And what we'll do is we'll delete this bit. And what we're going to make here is like a jump in the footage. So when the beat hits, our footage is going to skip ahead like this. Have a look. And what we'll do that is we'll repeat that a couple of times to follow along with the beat. Just change it there. Going to do a cut and another cut. And if we delete this section, let's have a look, what's that doing? Yeah, so we need to delete this, go back a bit. And we'll delete that section. And then if we slide this one over, and we play this back again, you see that little jump. When you get the beats of the audio, the footage skips, and that looks quite nice. What we'll do now is we'll make a little title intro in the style of Casey. Uh, so if we um, go to our title section here, if we make the window a little bit bigger, just drag it out a little bit there, drag it down a little bit there, and let's type something, let's go for uh, um, episode, help if I could spell episode, uh, I've still spelt it wrong, hang on, episode one, how to vlog, how to vlog. So we move it in the corner. His his uh, his intros were always quite right close to the frame. So if we drag it out like that, there we go. And then if we click and highlight it all, and if we go to change the font to something more chunky, not that one, not that one. Uh, let's scroll up a bit. Uh, oh, that might be close. No, oh, no, that doesn't look very good at all. Uh, no, 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 no. It's all wrong. Let's keep going. Uh, good old Ariel, good old Ariel. Uh, let's make it bold. Da -da. Perfect, but it's a bit big. So if we go to our size section and just drag it down, just so it's touching the edge of the frame. Stop. There we go. Perfect. And that's about it. We'll just position it a bit better. There we go. Pretty cool. Done. I think that's it. So we close that. Now we want to drag that over our footage. Again, we, want, we don't want to put it right at the start, but probably somewhere where the audio jumps in. So if we place it here, okay, let's have a look now. Uh, yeah, about there. When she starts singing would be a good place. So play that. Nice. But it's a bit long. Yeah, so Casey's um, ones are quite short, so if we cut it there, and then remove that section, just delete that, right, try it again, play. Still a bit longer to do. 
Uh, this footage is actually a little bit big, so I'm just going to scale it down because I think it's shot at 4K. Um, and we can see more of the skyline, which is nice. If we just adjust all of those down, and I think that'll look quite nice. Yeah, let's go back a little bit and test. I like to test. That's cool. But I think I want to make those beat jumps a little bit bigger. So um, if we play it again. Yeah, so it jumps once there. What we'll do is we'll make those the sections where it jumps in the footage a little bit more further apart so you can see more of a definite jump. So if we cut it there, let's go forwards a bit where we want to start it again. Let's cut it here. Ching. All right, we remove this section and we pull it back over. Now you should see a much bigger jump in the footage. Be much more prominent. That's better. Nice. And what we'll do actually, we'll speed it up. So, where you've got this build up in the music here, before the next beat, we'll cut it where the last beat ends and we'll make this, we'll speed this up so it looks like it's a bit of a time lapse. Casey's always got time lapse in his footage. So, um, if we speed it up to. 200? No, that's not right. Speed it up a bit more, maybe 300, 400? That should do it. Okay, let's try that. Let's bring it in a bit to where the beat changes again, and let's just play that. So you see the footage speeds up there as the build up rises with the music. And what we'll do now is we're dragging on the new footage that we want to happen. Uh, let's try the Times Square traffic. Uh, that's like zoomed out a bit as well. Let's drag it over and let's watch the whole thing. Episode 1 How to Vlog. Bit long still, I think. Cases are quite, quite short, so we'll trim it a little bit more. Let's delete that. Right, and play it again. Better. Time lapse section and boom, straight into the next footage. Really important to cut the, uh, the the footage on the beat of the music. Just makes it feel much more um, snappy. So we'll cut this footage a little bit because it's a bit long. Don't want to see traffic for 20 seconds. And we'll drag in uh, next bit of footage, which is the bridge shot. Um, I brought in the audio here, we don't need the audio, so we'll right click and unlink and delete the audio. <coughs> audio. Delete the audio, we'll lose my voice. That's quite a nice shot. We'll do the same thing we did before. I think on that one where you've got the beat changes, we'll do a little bit of jumping in the footage. Let's see, let's stop it here, let's have a look at a waveform. And what, well, we just need a bit more footage so we can cut it a bit more. So we're going to delete the section where the beat is. And we'll do that again. So where the next part of the audio is, we'll delete that. And that, get rid of that section, put it across. So where the beats of the music are, it's going to jump cut. There we go. And that's cool. We've got a little bit of a, like, just with the beat of the music. And that's really it guys. That's uh, that's a Casey Neistat intro. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Um, I really love making these how-to videos and teaching you how to do something new. Uh, if you want some more, then give it a thumbs up and please subscribe, um, and I'll see you in the next one.